Welcome back to Zach's Travel. I'm so glad you joined me for another travel video. We've got an awesome video today. I'm gonna take you to Rome, to this beautiful, luxurious, curio collection hotel by Hilton called Alif. start another day in Rome, the beautiful, beautiful city, Roma. Okay, let's go back to the hotel and go up to the beautiful rooftop of this amazing Hilton Curio collection, Aleph, Roma, love the Italian language. And you, as a guest, get a free access to this beautiful spa with these hot, hot baths and steam rooms and an amazing gym and they also have uh services you can pay for like a massage it's just so like soothing and relaxing in there um after a long day and then right outside of that spa on the rooftop is this beautiful beautiful pool and lounging area um you beautiful views of of rome um from the from the rooftop and it's just so relaxing like you can go up there for a nice swim or just to sit um, maybe you just want to chill in the morning have your moments you know meditation devotions whatever in the morning just really really nice great place and then right behind all that on the roof still is this amazing beautiful restaurant very um, luxurious but not expensive and so you can go up there and have a pretty decent meal um, and look out over the city, especially if you're like, it's a travel day or something like that. Um, it's great to just shoot upstairs and, and eat instead of trying to get around. A tip on Sundays, a lot of stuff is closed. A lot of stuff opens really late in the day um, food wise. So um, always ask the hotel if the restaurant's open because um, sometimes it closes on Sundays and stuff like that. Sundays is a really big day for them and um, a lot of stuff either opens really late or doesn't open at all so just that's an extra little tip there but just after walking all day and, and sometimes in the heat and sweating and you know all the stuff you do when you're like trying to see everything coming back to that beautiful spa and then going back to your room and watching some tv is just a really really great thing it's a it's a safe place to kind of recharge Next, let's talk about the lobby. Walking into this hotel is the epitome of just pure luxury, especially when you look around outside and you think, wait, is this really a nice hotel? Because it's not like in the States where you have these grand, humongous Conrads or um, Crown Plazas or whatever it may be. It's kind of unassuming. It kind of just blends in with all the other buildings. And then you walk in and you're just like, oh my goodness, there's masterpiece here. The beautiful arches and domes and the luxurious sitting area with the fountain and um, the bell, the bellmen, of course, that help you with your luggage and make sure that you get everything upstairs. And, um, and they're just so kind and nice. Um, whatever we asked them, they were able to just help us with and always always nice a lot of places um a lot of i heard a lot of places are not kind to americans in europe i don't know why that is because we only experienced it a couple of times and um i'll do another review on a hotel we stayed at in rome that was very rude to us but by and large everywhere we went in europe uh italy spain france um malta everybody was super friendly super nice very helpful just walking in this hotel is so beautiful. You'll never, I don't think you'll ever experience a breakfast quite like the one at Alif. Um, it is just amazing and the finest touches, the service was great, the breakfast tasted great. Um, they actually had a real honeycomb that you could just scrape off. Um, fruit, bread, sausage, eggs, 
any stuff for anybody and you know diet like if you're on a really strict diet or you like to eat light or you like to eat heavy uh, amazing coffees um, sodas teas waters all that stuff little tip in Rome the water is amazing you can drink it it's better than here in the States really it's really great um, but the breakfast was amazing you got to try it if you go there and it's free with your room so have it every day if you get up in time so of course you can't talk about a hotel without talking about the rooms where you're gonna be where you're gonna stay where you're gonna sleep and so the rooms are just beautiful now I will admit they aren't they don't have a great view they're not like in a high-rise it's not I mean there is some other luxurious hotels in Rome of course but what you get is kind of like you feel tucked away and kind of away from it all after being out in it all day and um, we really enjoyed that like the rooms were magnificently beautiful they left some nice little chocolates and treats for us when we came in and it had this really high ceiling and um, like ambiance light in the ceiling the controls were all very very sophisticated and modern um, also the bathroom was just perfect I mean you had this beautiful frameless glass marble shower and floors uh, an amazing clean nice new toilet uh, plenty of room for um, your stuff on the, the vanity sink area they did provide some stuff like uh, hair dryers and normal hotel stuff I will say that you you shouldn't rely on hotels to give you converters or um, any, anything like that if you need plugs for to swap from Europe to American type C to type A um, bring those with you they're very cheap on Amazon ladies if you have stuff like uh, curling irons and stuff that are not 220 volts either get those or make sure they're dual or buy a converter which can be a little expensive but take it with you um, we didn't do that we called the hotels and they they promised us that they had them and when we got there we found out they didn't really understand and they had just the normal like from Europe to American but that won't convert 110 to 220 it just basically changes the outlet type so your American outlet will fit into a European so just a little side tip there we're gonna cover that in some more videos later on but I want to make sure that if you're watching this and you think the hotels are gonna have that or provide that the ones we stayed in did not and um, even uh, even when we cruised in the med the ships did not have converters either so um, most of the people that I know that when we travel this year are going to go ahead and buy and invest in the things that are dual so they're 110 and 220 and they won't have any issues just plugging them in through a normal um, converter that doesn't actually convert the power um, so yeah that's another tip but the beds are back to the room back to the room the beds are um, amazing they we slept so good um, we had a nice big flat screen TV. Here's a bonus tip. We brought our Amazon Fire TV stick, which I travel with everywhere, and we were able to connect it to the hotel's internet because it's Hilton, it's pretty normal, pretty standard, and we were able to watch um, a lot of our shows and stuff. Now, you can't download stuff to your Fire Stick, unfortunately, so Netflix is different over there. You will get different content, but we found stuff to watch and, and chill on. And uh, we also downloaded a ton of stuff to our iPads and phones just as a backup precaution. Because at night you want to unwind. Um, a couple, one time we got pizza. We just went back to our room, you know, just watched TV and chilled. You, you, it gets tiring. Um, it's fun and exciting, but you can get tired with all the walking and all the just the information overload too to your brain um, of seeing the beauty and magnificent wonders of Rome. And the Vatican and all that good stuff. Uh, love that city. Such a beautiful city. The people are so nice. And uh, the language is so beautiful. So let's talk about the location first. The location is really, really good. We, we didn't know Rome. It was our first time in Rome. We had some friends that had been and were giving us advice and stuff. But for the most part, we had no idea really um, what was where and you know what was the best place. Um, so when I found Aleph Roma, I wanted 
but I was more interested in just having a luxurious European experience and a safe place that we knew we could go to at night and kind of, you know, un recharge, unwind, um, and just enjoy, you know, that part of, of Rome, not just all the tourist stuff. So let's talk about the location. Um, you're, you're within walking distance of so many things. If you like to walk, I'm obviously a big person, but, and I don't walk like as much as other people. I know some families that have gone and never taken a taxi once. They walk everywhere they go in Rome, and that's great. I mean, you can do that. It's pretty easy to do, even for me. I walked around a lot there and didn't have any trouble. But you're close to Barberini Square, which kind of branches off to um, the Spanish Steps, to Trevi Fountain, down to the area where um, Rocioli's is that we're going to do a video on. It's a great restaurant you should try. Um, a pizza place, bread place, kind of a cool little area. It's also near the Via del Corose, which is a huge shopping place um, that it's got a lot of fancy places, cool coffee shops, a lot of uh, people usually there. It's near the Spanish Steps. You're also very near the Piazza della Repubblica. It's like this beautiful, huge thing. It's my favorite thing in Rome. It's absolutely stunning and amazing. I don't know if you've seen Angels and Demons, the movie, but you're literally like a three or four minute walk to the church that has some scenes from that movie. Santa Maria della Vittoria. That's what it's called. And then right across the street from that is the Fountain of Moses, um, which these huge lions and these beautiful, beautiful fountains. And then there's some more shopping and um, it, it's just so easy. And if you need a taxi or whatever you need, the hotel will call them or bring them to you or you're right there near a taxi place. A tip, if you've watched any of my other Rome videos, don't taxi, do Uber. Uber's cheaper. Uber has really nice cars like Mercedes and BMWs, black cars usually, and you pay through the app so you don't have that exchange rate and no tip and all that good stuff. So that's just a little tip if you're looking to get around without walking or you need to run to like the Vatican, which can be far away. To do a tour there, you might want to take a car over there instead of walking all the way over there because a lot of their tours start early in the morning. I hope this video really helps you if you're preparing to go to Rome or you've been to Rome but you're looking for some extra tips or stuff. We're going to have videos um, of things to do, things to watch out for, things to take with you, tips and tricks and all that fun stuff. Um, I'm a researcher. I don't just go spontaneously on trips. I really want to know um, what I need, what I'm going to encounter, and have at least some kind of plan and backup plan, and usually even a plan C, because things don't always go like you plan, and that way it makes the trip actually more enjoyable. Uh, even for my family that wants to go spontaneously, they always end up enjoying the fact that I planned, because when you're tired and something goes wrong and you have that backup plan there and everything just kind of like shifts and moves smoothly, it just makes, it takes the stress away and makes things really great. And I know a lot of people just go to Rome and walk around and they end up eating really more American and, and not such great food and paying a lot for it. And then they're like, oh, the food in Rome wasn't great. And I was like, well, did you eat here at Rocioli's or did you eat at the Bear or places like that? And they're like, we didn't even know about those. And I'm like, yeah, you got to go places that aren't touristy. And you got to do research and find the places that have real Italian food and real Italian stuff. And then you can really enjoy um, enjoy it. Like Recinte is a beautiful mall, but a lot of people don't know about it. And it's just, it's this crazy cool mall with these great restaurants on the roof. And um, so you just got to ask people, do research, think about it. That's what, that's what these videos are going to be for. All that research I do to share that with you so you don't have to do it. And right now I'm planning an Asia trip. We're going to be in Japan, South Korea, Thailand, Bangkok, and Phuket. And we're going to be in Tokyo, and Kyoto, and Osaka, and Mount Fuji, and in Seoul, Korea. And um, so really exciting stuff coming up. Doing another cruise this year going to Mexico this year, going back to Vegas this year, and we're gonna share it all here on Zacca's Travel. So hit that subscribe button. You'll be first to be notified when new videos come up. It's 
you can cancel anytime. It's free to do so. And we just love to have you part of the Zacchaeus Travel family. It lets us know what we're doing right, what I'm doing good. If I need to do something differently, comment below. If you want shorter videos, longer videos, you have questions, I'm here to help you. And uh, I try to do that as much as possible. And we're just excited to be here and help you. As we love, I love to travel and everybody that goes with me loves to travel. And um, it's just gonna get better and better. And we want you to have some amazing fun adventures and avoid the pitfalls and stuff like that that come with this. And so one of the biggest things about traveling is where do I stay? And some people, you know, prefer hostels or um, Airbnbs or, you know, more lower end type stuff. But this channel is not about that. We travel in style on a budget. I'm not wealthy, so we still have to look for those deals and find that find those um, little gems. And I do a lot, a lot of searching for hotels and look at tons and tons of pictures and reviews and ask people. And and that's how we land on where we're going to stay. And this trip is going to be like none other. We're literally taking like ten flights in a two week period. We're staying in at least ten different hotels. We're going to be in three, four, five, six, seven cities, maybe a little more. And um, in Tokyo alone, we're staying in four hotels. And so it's gonna be an amazing, crazy, wild, tiring, exciting trip. And we're gonna share it here with you. So hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped. Go to the, everything I talk about is in the description below. So hit that link to Aleph Roma by Hilton Curio Collection. Book your room if you're going to Rome. Even if you stay there a couple of nights, you're just there before you go on a cruise or go um, to Venice or wherever you're going. Just stay there as if you can. You're going to love it. You're gonna to wanna to go back there. If I go back to Rome, I'm going back there. Um, it's amazing. Check it out. I will catch you in the next Zacchaeus travel video. Peace.